Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. How to enable project security in the business console of IBM Operational Decision Manager. This video shows you how to set up Decision Center group membership and enable the security of decision service projects in Business Console. Here is the story. The IT teams are currently working on two projects, Loan Validation Service and Value Editor Service. Paul is the Release Manager. He controls the governance of the Rule Project lifecycle. Paul also manages the teams and project access control. Jane is a rule author in the finance team. She is assigned to work on the value editor service project. B and Abu are from the credit team. They are assigned to work on the upcoming spring release of the loan validation service project. As a support team member, Betty is responsible to maintain the fixes for released services. By default, all the decision service projects have no security enforced. Everyone can access any project on Business Console. Let's see what projects are available to the business users before the security enforcement. In this example, B will be logging in. Both Loan Validation Service and Value Editor Service projects are available. Inside Loan Validation Service, the user can access different releases and branches. B will now be logging out. Paul decides to manage the users, groups, and the project access more efficiently by using the features on the Business Console administration page. Here are the steps that Paul will take. First, create the teams as the groups. Create the credit team. Give the team the full authoring permission. Assign Abu and B to the credit team. Create the finance team and support team as well. Three teams are created. Each has corresponding members assigned. Go to the users page to check the group assignment. The users are assigned to the right teams. Note that the users are pre-set up in this demo. Check out the Managing Users from Decision Center topic from the IBM Knowledge Center for additional details. Let's move on to the Project Security page to manage the project access. Enforce the security on the value editor service for the finance team and support team to access. Value editor service project security is enforced and proper groups are assigned. Enforce the security on the loan validation service for the credit team and the support team to access. The loan validation service project security is also enforced. Remember that inside the loan validation service, the credit team works on the spring release and the support team works on the initial release fix pack separately. Override the default security settings in Spring Release. 
remove the support team from the access list. Remove the credit team from initial release fix pack 1. The access groups are separated. Jane starts to work on the value editor service. The loan validation service project is not visible to her. B logs into the business console. She can access the loan validation service. Inside, she can only work on the spring release. The initial release fix pack 1 is not available for her. Finally, let's check on Betty's access. As a support team member, Betty can access both services. Inside Loan Validation Service, she can only work on Initial Release Fix Pack 1. Great! Paul has successfully completed the project security management as planned. This video has shown you the basic project security enforcement capability. For more advanced administration and security settings in IBM Operational Decision Manager, visit the IBM Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.